Hello, Dr. Talton. I have a couple questions for you. Sure. How many COVID-19 cases have there been in the district? So currently right now we have uh, just eight cases. Uh, a few weeks ago we were kind of hit pretty hard as a district. Uh, we had quite a few cases, uh, but the last two weeks uh, we've seen a steady decline in cases uh, over the course of the last two days. Uh, this week, today's Wednesday, we've had zero student or staff cases across the district. So. Very, very uh, grateful that we continue to have a steady decline in cases, uh, but right now we currently have eight. Dr. Talton, what about the students that have felt, that have felt behind in the district? Uh, so right now, um, uh, this past uh, summer, the Texas legislature passed uh, House Bill 4545 that really aims to address learning loss from last school year. So it's really focusing on students that were unsuccessful on STAR. So any student that failed STAR grades third grade through eighth grade, and then also the high school EOCs, we're providing tutorials during school and after school uh, for those students to uh, close learning gaps to make sure they're successful the next time they pass. I mean, the next time they, they actually take the test, which would be in the spring of 2022. Does the district offer COVID-19 vaccines? Yes. So uh, the district does offer COVID-19 vac vaccinations. We had a vaccination clinic a few weeks back. Uh, we'll have another vaccination clinic at the Jones Education Complex on Tuesday, next Tuesday, October 5th, from 3.30 to 5.30. Uh, so any community member, student, et cetera, uh, faculty, staff, anybody that wants to come by and get a vaccination, we'll have plenty of them available for them to come by and get it on that day. Very good to hear. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. That's good to hear. Good. What were the other ones?